So the other day we got a chance to open up an entire booster case of the brand new set Rarity Collection 2 right here on the channel. We did it live if you guys didn't check that out. The full video should be on the channel but we haven't had enough. We are actually going to be opening up some more Rarity Collection 2 but it's not just any Rarity Collection 2. We've officially affiliated with a brand new card shop. Emmett's Toy Stop over here, an absolutely insane store that I've been going to very recently. And if you guys have seen my vlogs, I've actually done a few vlogs already. And they have now partnered up with the channel to bring you guys a sponsored booster box opening of the brand new Rarity Collection 2. But don't worry, it doesn't stop there. They've actually also provided us with a Spanko discount code where you guys can buy any Yu-Gi-Oh! sealed product or singles for 5% off. All you guys gotta do is use my code SPANKO5 at checkout, or there's gonna be a link at the top of the description below that you guys can use and it's going to automatically apply a 5% discount which helps both support the store and support me here on the channel so big shout out to Emmett who are sponsoring today's video with a brand new booster box of Rarity Collection 2 and if this goes well they may do some other sponsored videos in the future so go show the store some love and let's get right into opening this booster box so again, I want to give a really big shout out to Emmett's Toy Stop for sponsoring today's video. I do want to say that we are the very first YouTube channel or the very first affiliate, I guess, in general that they've ever had. So uh, this is a big opportunity for us here as a Spanko squad, but it's also a really big opportunity for the store as well to give them some uh, time to grow. They're brand new into Yu-Gi-Oh! Not actually brand new. They, they have been open for Yu-Gi-Oh! for about six or seven months now. And on top of that, they just opened up a ton of Rarity Collection as well. So if you guys are looking for any singles from Rarity Collection too, you guys can go straight to their website, again, linked at the top of the description, and you guys are going to be able to buy any Rarity Collection 2 singles that you guys are looking for, but on top of that, they have a ton of other really cool cards as well. And it's really cool just being, you know, the very first store to affiliate with the with the, with Emmett's. I mean, I think that's really cool. It's a really cool opportunity for us here on the channel, and uh, and I'm just excited to see that store grow. I love that store, and it's uh, been a store that I've been going to very often for locals, and the crowd there is great. If you guys live in the Mississauga, Toronto area in the GTA, you guys can go check them out as well. They're, they're really cool people over there. But with that being said let's get right into the opening ready collection 2 is a set that's uh had some controversy around it i'm gonna be honest it's a set that uh, i know has seen you know some people saying it's not a great set some people saying it is a great set i'm gonna be honest with you i think it's a good set but i will say the only issue with it is its price point rarity collection 2 is a sealed set is quite expensive compared to rarity collection 1 however i will say with rarity collection 2 that the card choices maybe outside of mst here the card choices are pretty good right and uh, like omega is a great card over here imagine pulling this as a qcr would be insane we got skullmeister over here charge of the light brigade and you're also getting nine cards per pack it's no longer five cards per pack right you guys can get double the amount of hits in this set so we are starting off with an ultimate rare over here anti-spell fragrance absolutely stunning card i think they fixed up the ulties from uh the rarity collection one pur is much nicer now phantasme is a great secret rare card and we're gonna start things off with a quarter century boral and dragon in our very first booster pack this set is absolutely insane the fact that you guys can pull a boral and dragon qcr absolutely absolutely beautiful card and this set is instead of three uh, qcrs per uh, box it's actually four now i'm not sure why my camera doesn't want to focus it's just too much shine with this set the set is so shiny okay we got a boil and dragon Go over there as our very first qcr i'm going to separate these super rares over here you guys don't know a fun fact about me I uh, typically only collect either the lowest or the highest rarity of cards. So uh, lowest here would be super rare and then highest rarity would be QCR. So for me, that's what I'm looking for. Anything in between, that goes straight into a trade binder. Cosmic Cyclone is another great card that you guys can put into, like as a QCR would be absolutely insane. Unchained Soul of Rage over here, really good super rare. Emergency Teleport as a collector's rare. So you guys can see the brand new collector's rare style. It's actually very similar to Rarity Collection 1. I don't think they've changed it too much. The ultimate rares are, are much nicer, but the collector's rare is still looking very very stunning over here we got an ultra rare hieratic seal of the heavenly spheres axe code talker is a good ultra rare now i'm just gonna go through this because the set is quite small so you guys are gonna see some double ups of cards guru is a really good one as well and then psychic and punisher but i do want to talk about the set a little bit because i feel like this set is very underrated it's a set that i feel like a lot of people are saying is just bad but again there's a lot of staples over here and a lot of really cool cards that you guys can get now for a very much affordable price Apollosa being one of them over here now this is the gold card this is a card that i want to pull as a qcr um one of the coolest cards uh i, I love this artwork of, of Apollosa, so that as a qcr would be absolutely insane oh speaking of uh, qcr it's not a qcr it's a collector's rare but book of eclipse collector's rare very nice card over here very nice card and i will say i think um 
I think I've seen it once. Oh, is this a Oh, 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 Rindbrum has a QCR. Two QCRs already off the bat. That's absolutely in our first two packs. In our first, no, not two packs. What is that? Three packs? Three or four. Three or four packs. We have another QCR over here. Very, very beautiful card. I was hoping, I was actually really hoping that was a Dragoon. I do want a Dragoon in the uh, QCR. But I will say with this set, okay, is um that uh you i think guaranteed four but in our case opening we were hitting five qcrs in a box and that's a goal drone lock would absolutely stunning card if we can hit five qcrs again it'd be absolutely insane on top of that there's only been apparently like a couple times where you guys can get six hits in a single pack now i think the most we've gone ever was three from our live stream i don't think we've ever gotten more than three and by hits i mean an upgraded rarity so whether it's uh the collector's rare the ultimate rare the qcr or uh the platinum secret rare which the brand new platinum secret rare is very very stunning as well we have an ultimate rare over here fusion deployment okay ultimate rare we i do see something in the back i'm not gonna lie i do see something in the back so we are coming up on something soul of rage i think it might be a psr i think it might be a platinum secret which i want to show you guys what that looks like no just a race oath oh this is another qcr book of moon qcr come on Come on, that's three QCRs already and we're not even halfway through the box. Yo, Emmett, you guys bless this box. You guys bless this box. Three QCRs already, we're not even halfway through. Absolutely insane. These are some pretty nice QCRs too. Like the one card I don't want in the QCR is Soul and Luna. Keep that card away from me, keep that card away from me. Like I do not want to see that card. And I feel like I jinxed it and I feel like I'm gonna see it now, but I hope, I hope I don't. I really hope I don't. Ghost Ogre would be a nice one. Drone Lock would also be a really nice one. Drone Lock word. Uh, Skill Drain as a collector's rare. I do really want to pull a Platinum Secret Rare so I can show you guys what that looks like if you guys haven't seen it already, because that rarity is very, very nice. So we got a Skullmeister, Chaos Hunter over here, and an Abyss Dweller Super Rare. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is, uh, is uh, the, the store, Emmett's, okay? I, I, wanna, I wanna talk about Emmett's here because I feel like it's a store that, I feel like I saw something. I feel like I saw something. I feel like I saw something. One sec, I'm, Emmett's, I'm sorry guys, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta confirm if I saw something. I gotta confirm if I saw something. Magician Souls is a secret rare. No, it's nothing, it's nothing. Just a Joel Lockwood. That's still a good secret. That's still a secret secret. Anyways, I want to talk about Emmets because they, they are the sponsor of today's video. And uh, I know I know I've been like giving them so much praise and stuff already, but I really do want to let you guys know that this is a store that I went to one time, like a single time. I heard about it opening up, and the first day I went there, I knew I was coming back. I'm gonna be honest, it was just the, the, the environment was so good. We have a collector's rare fusion deployment over here. The environment was so good. Oh, this is a platinum secret rare. Access code talker, baby. Let's go. That is a good platinum secret rare. Now, actually, I'm going to show you guys real quick what the difference between a Book of Moon, the, the QCR, and a uh, platinum secret rare is. Platinum is like all the way across. QCR is, of course, that like hobby league pattern look. And uh, let me know what you guys think is better. Let me guys know what uh, you guys prefer as a rarity. I'm going to be honest. I really like this PSR. The Platinum Secret Rares are really, really nice. I will say, it just really pains me that Rarity Collection 1 didn't have that because, you know, it would be really nice to match some of the cards from Rarity Collection 1 and Rarity Collection 2. But Axis Code Talker, insane card in uh, Platinum Secret Rares. Very, very nice card. Now back to Emmett's, like I was saying, that, that that community over there was insane. I remember they were hosting their very first Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals and I really wanted to go check it out, go support the store. Uh, we have an ultimate rare, uh, Charge, of Heart, Charge of the Light Brigade, not Change of Heart, Charge of the Light Brigade over here. And um, yeah, first day I go there, there's some new players, some older, oh, another collector. Is this our fourth one? This is our fourth one. Twin Twister, baby. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, only good QCRs, baby. Only good QCRs over here. We already got four QCRs. Now I know... Some boxes are four, but I feel like, I mean, I know for a fact I've hit five QCR boxes during my case. So uh, this is not coming from my case, by the way. This is a separate box, not from my case. So we'll see if we're able to hit a fifth QCR, which if we do that, that would be absolutely insane. Hitting a fifth QCR here would be absolutely insane. But again, back to Emmett's. Every time I feel like I talk about them, I hit something good. That's good luck. That's good luck. Every time I talk about Emmett's, I hit something good. But um, yeah. The store was absolutely amazing, PUR over here. And uh, it's something that I know for sure I'll be going back to PSR, Ultimate Slayer. Stunning, stunning card. It's a store that I know, I mean, I know I'm going back to it. They know I'm going back there. I've, I've already formed a lot of friendships and uh, their management team over there is really great. Their ownership is really great. And uh, I really want to support the store. Again, it's newer to Yu-Gi-Oh! It's bigger in Pokemon. Um, I guess that's where they started off as a Pokemon store. But the Yu-Gi-Oh! scene is really growing over there. We have a Collector's Rare Foolish Burial. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! scene is really growing there. Oh, Garura, Collector's Rare as well, back to back. Um, yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh! scene is growing, like I've tried to say three times already. Oh, is this a QCR? It is. Blue Eye, bro. Five QCRs. 
Every single time I talk about the store, I hit something good. That is absolutely insane. A Blue Eyes Jet Dragon QCR. Five QCRs in this box. Yo, we haven't had a six QCR box. What are the odds? We still got a lot of packs over here. We still got a lot of packs. And if you guys want some of these QCRs, want want some of uh, the, the supers, the ultras, by the way, again, you guys can check out Emmett's, uh, the link in the description. Their website, you guys can use Spanko5, 5, 5% off. It's gonna, it's gonna really help, especially if you make uh, bigger orders. Of course, the 5% is gonna be, you know, more impactful. If that makes sense? Like you order $100 worth of cards, 5% off is, you know, more than it would be if you order like a dollar worth of cards. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's math. Okay, cool. Uh, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Speaking of uh, the QCR Blue Eyes, we got uh, the secret over there. Masquerade. Now again, uh, man, I feel like every time I talk about them, I guess this, I don't know. You guys can laugh at me in the comment section down below. Just every time I start talking about something, something happens. That's how good this set is. Ooh, Collect is ready to go, Soger. Very nice card. Uh, ooh, Collect is ready to solemn judgment. Also very nice card, uh, Cosmic Cyclone. And oh, I thought this was a six QCR, but it's a Platinum Secret Rare Skill Drain. Very, very nice Platinum Secret Rare over here. Yeah, I really like the Platinum Secret Rares. Those are very, very nice. And I like how all the Solemns are in this set. That's that's honestly the best thing for me. But uh, yeah, okay, I'm done. I'm not even gonna open this pack. I'm gonna talk to you guys. Emmett's, go check out their website. Go check out the singles. Go check out the sealed product. Spankle 5, 5% off. Go support the store. It's a brand new store. And the, the more they're able to grow, the more the community is able to grow, especially in that area. Uh, where their store is they, we don't really have any other card shops so it's really nice they are providing an opportunity for a lot of uh, players to uh, go play Yu-Gi-Oh in a real life setting and grow the community and that's the most important thing growing the community, right now let's get back into our box because this box is insane mind control skill drain we already have five QCRs odds of us hitting another one are very low however we did hit an ultimate rare book of moon over here masquerade guardian chimera enemy controller twin twister and IP Mascarena. Okay, the odds of actually pulling in I know oh we already hit five QCRs. I don't think we're gonna hit in the sixth one. How many packs we got left? We got one, two, and then this pack. So three packs left. Very unlikely we hit anything, but uh, another Platinum Secret Rare would be very, very nice. Or a Collector's Rare. Uh, Ixie's Encore over here. Pot of Duality. Alternative White Dragon. And Silent Swordsman. All right, nothing in that pack. It's very rare that you don't hit anything in the pack. And I'll, I'll go through the ratios with you guys at the end too. We'll kind of go over what we pulled. I did see something. It might be a platinum secret there though. But if if it is if it is a uh, is a QCR and we hit six QCRs in a single box, I I don't know how to react. That would be insane. Crystal Wing, Synchro Dragon as an ultimate rare. Very, very nice card. Ultimate Slayer. Oh, it is something. Is that a QCR? No. Just a platinum secret purely. Okay, who man, I thought that was gonna be a QCR. That would have been insane as a QCR. Okay, okay. Last pack magic over here. There's really nothing more we can ask for. I feel like we've done such such a good job with this old box already. This box has been absolutely insane to us. And again, big shout out to Emmett uh, for providing it to us, uh, providing it to you guys. Another video for the channel. Discount full code for you guys to use. Fusion Deployment. Uh, we got Psychic and Punisher and Ultimate Slayer as our last card. Guys, we cannot complain. I'm just going to organize these for you guys real quick because I, I really want to show you guys what these ratios kind of look like. A few moments later. So just to go over the hits over here real quick, we have a PUR. So PUR is Platinum Ultimate Rare. Platinum Ultimate Rare, Crystal Wing, Book of Moon, Preparation of Rights, and Charge of the Light Brigade. Those are the only... Oh, no, we got Fusion Deployment, so that's five. Anti-Spell Fragrance, that's six. So we hit six of the Ultimate Rares over here. Now we're moving on to the Collector's Rare. So we hit Garura over here, Ghost Ogre, Fusion Deployment, Foolish Burial, Book of Eclipse... Uh, emergency teleport over here, skill drain, solemn judgment. So we hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the uh, collector's rares. So we had six platinum ultimates, eight platinum collector's rares, and then we hit, uh, I think it was four. So the access code talker by far being the best one over here. The access code talker as a platinum secret, ultimate slayer platinum secret, skill drain platinum secret, and then purely platinum secret as well. Now for QCRs though, five QCR box, jet dragon. Twin Twister, Book of Moon, Rindbrum, and a Boral and Dragon. Guys, I this box was absolutely insane. I think these hits are crazy. And, and, and I don't know, when you see stuff like this, it's really hard to tell me that Rarity Collection 2 is not a good set. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand Rarity Collection 1 may have had the big bangers, that like Ash Blossom, Impermanence, and whatnot. But Rarity Collection 2 is filled with a lot of nice cards. The new Platinum Secret Rares are absolutely insane. And I think there's a lot of staples in this set that uh, a lot of people are overlooking. The book cards, the Solemns, all those cards are stuff that people want and people are going to need. And so these are really good reprints as well. But just to end off the video, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like 
like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed today's video i also want to give another huge shout out which i have been doing all video but i want to give another huge shout out to our brand new partners and it's toy stop again if you guys want five percent off your order of any Yu-Gi-Oh singles or sealed product you guys can use my code spango5 or click the link at the top of the description and then you guys are going to be able to automatically apply that five percent off your next order so if you guys want to order and support the store support the channel make sure to use my code make sure to use my link thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko signing out peace